वेलकम बैक गाइज सो टुडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ कैन सॉल्व द इशू ऑफ एलमेड रेंडर ब्लॉकिंग रिसोर्सिस ऑन यू वेबसाइट वेन यू टेस्ट यू वेबसाइट विद गूगल पेज पीस कोर्स एंड इफ इट इज स्लो सो वेन यू टेस्ट यू वेबसाइट एंड यू सी दिस इशू यू क्लिक ऑन दिस एरो एंड यू कैन सी देर मैनी ब्लॉकिंग स्क्रिप्ट लोडिंग ऑन माई वेबसाइट इफ यू चेक यू वेबसाइट यू वेबसाइट विल ऑल्सो हैव सो मैनी स्क्रिप्ट वी कैन डिवाइड दिस स्क्रिप्ट इन थ्री पार्ट्स फर्स्ट आर जाओ स्क्रिप्ट फाइल्स सेकेंड आर सी एस एस फाइल्स एंड थर्ड आर फॉन्ट फाइल्स इफ आई गो डू माई वेबसाइट यू कैन सी दिस माई वेबसाइट and whenever somebody load my website all these files which are necessary to create this design and all this functioning what i am having on website if you go to source code website you can see all these css files the necessary to create this design this tiles the colors the width and height of the elements and there's so many css files are here and you can also see this script files also which are loading on website they are also loading in a blocking manner so what happens when somebody open my website and they try to load the website first all these javascript css and fault files loads then only the browser start painting the real website because they are loading in blocking manner that's why google page speed is telling me to eliminate render blocking resources okay so let's see how we can remove this render blocking resources and make them non blocking so log into wordpress dashboard and then from the sidebar home plugins click add new and search here opt optimize and we are taking help with this amazing plugin opt optimize they got 1 plus million active installation and almost 4.5 star rating and it was updated 2 days ago so you can understand this is a reliable plugin which is updated frequently so now click on install now and guys make sure when you use this plugin you take backup before in some cases it can break your website but in end of the video also i'll tell you that how you can troubleshoot your website if this plugin breaks your website so make sure you watch the video until the end This is advanced plugin, so it is very normal if it breaks your website. But just in case, because sometimes you guys really panic if something bad happens on the website and you start commenting on the videos, okay, my website broke, it's not reverting. So make sure you pay the backup. And if your website break, you can revert this and comment down below the video. I will help you what is breaking your website, and we can make this plugin work for your website too. Okay, so click on activate, and now you can find this plugin in left sidebar settings, and then click on. Auto optimize. So this plugin is fairly simple, but at the same time, it is very advanced plugin. Okay, you can see this option here: JS, CSS, and HTML. So what you need to do is, for most of you people, if you are not using very advanced JavaScript website, a lot of CSS website, this plugin will work very nicely. So what you can do: click on Optimize JavaScript Code. Once you click here, this option will be enabled. So the first option called Aggregate JS Files. So what happened when you aggregate JS files? It combines all the JS file into single file. I test this plugin. Sometimes it makes one file or two files, depending on the number of JavaScript you are using on your website. So I will not suggest you to use this option because now Google changed a lot of standards, and with all those complicated things, if you aggregate JS file instead of optimizing your website, it makes your website even harder to load because these are big, huge files which will load on your website. So I suggest you do not check this option. Use this. Do not aggregate, but defer option. Use this option. Make sure this option is checked. So individual files will be minified, deferred, making them non-render blocking. And there is another option here. Also defer inline JS. What is inline JS? So I have shown you these the JavaScript files which are loading on the website. But code something like this. You see, there is a script tag here. There is a script tag here. But this script tag loads a JavaScript file. But this script tag here, it loads a code. So this kind of code is called inline JavaScript code. So when you are here, it will ask you to also defer inline JS. Check this option. And this one is the important option. If you are using jQuery on your website, you should add the jQuery here. In most of the cases, if you make the jQuery non-blocking, it can break your website. You can see I am using jQuery dot main dot JS on my website, and I am sure most of you will be using jQuery on your website. So what I will do, I'll just add jQuery in min dot js here. So what it will do, this plugin will not make jQuery non-blocking. It will load in default manner it was loading before. We'll come back on this topic a little bit later in the video. Okay, once you have done this, then you can do optimize CSS code. Okay, this is really interesting one. So you need to check optimize CSS code. Again, the same thing. Aggregate CSS files. It will combine all the CSS file into a small number of files, maybe one, two, or three CSS files. But as I told you with recent Google guidelines, I will not suggest you to use this option. So you can just leave these two options here because what it will do if you check these options, they'll combine all the files into one file, which is not really good. But if your website is using one or two CSS, it's a very basic website, you can use this option. But if you have big website, if you use this option, it can make things even worse for you. So leave this option, and the best option will be. to eliminate render blocking css okay so to get the best scores what you can do use this option eliminate render blocking css and once you click this option it will ask you to add above the fold css 
there are few free websites one of them is this one critical path CSS generator what you need to do here you need to add your website URL here and add all the CSS loading your website here and once it's done it will give you a code you need to copy the code and you need to paste it here but this comes with a warning I tested with so many website it doesn't work really very well but if you have a small website if you don't have responsive rules there are very high chances your critical CSS will work here I'll add the link to this website in the description of this video so you can go there and fetch your critical CSS for your website okay again one more thing as I told you this option is not very optimal option in most of the cases it makes small things here and there so there's another hack also so instead of checking this option you can use this option in line all CSS so if your website is not very heavy if you use this option in line all CSS it will inline the all CSS and sometime it will trick Google PageSpeed scores that your website is not having any blocking CSS. But if you're using again a large number of CSS files on your website, it will create a huge amount of CSS on your website which is in line. So try this option how I said and I'm going to create another video about how we can use this option and make render blocking CSS and how we can get critical CSS for your website. There's going to be a separate video because I want to make things simple for you guys. I don't want to make you confused about doing all those things in one video. In this video, I really want you to focus for removing the render blocking JavaScript files, CS file, you can use this option, you can try it. But if it doesn't work, just uncheck all this option and focus on JS optimization. In the description of this video or in the end of the video, I'll add how you can generate well working critical CS for your website. So make sure to check the card. That video is still in process, so it might take a few days. But if you're watching this video in future, check the end of the video or description of this video. So once you try all this option, then click on optimize HTML code. And once all done, click on save changes and empty cache. This plugin also offer image optimization, but I will not really recommend you. I create so many other videos. You can check the card on top right or description of the video that how you can optimize the image very well. Those videos works very nice. So I will not do anything here. Critical CSS, they also got this feature to generate the automatic critical CSS. And you know, guys, I do not cover a lot of paid things in this channel. In future, maybe I can try some things which are paid and then I can say if I found the valuable for you. For now, I'm not recommending this feature. In the end, you have extra option. So what you can do here is for fonts. You can check this option combine and link deferred in heads fonts load late but are not render blocking and this will also add display swap which is another notice given by google page speed score and then remove emojis and there are a lot of other optimization from auto optimize plugin remove query string from static resources this is another issue solved by this plugin remove wordpress block css everybody doesn't use the block css so if you are not using that you can remove this here and then click on save changes now I'll go back to my website and I check Google Page Speed scores. Okay, you can see here before there was 2.7 seconds of error. Now it is 1.17 second. You can see all the font files which are loading in blocking manner. They're gone from here. Only one JS presents here, which is jQuery.min.js. That is also because I excluded jQuery.min.js here. And you can see there's some CSS files are also here. Let's go back and see. Okay, I'll try this option, aggregate CSS files. And then I'll use this option inline all CSS. And guys, make sure if you have WP content cache or WP content uploads, remove them from here. Once it's done, now click on save changes and empty cache. We'll go back to page speed scores and refresh the results. Okay, you can see now my score is 54. They already improved. And you can see here, we do not have any more the error of reduce render blocking resources. Uh, if I scroll the page, I go to past audits. You can click show. So you can see here, this is showing green now. I have only jQuery.min.js here. So Google is considering this just one small file, which is important for your website to load other JS files and which will not break your website. So now we're passing for this rule. But wait guys, video is not ended. So what you need to do now is you need to check your website, reload it and see everything is loading fine or not. If everything is loading fine, congratulations. If not, what you need to do is you need to go back to the auto optimize plugin and now we're going to troubleshoot this plugin. So one by one. So first we troubleshoot the JavaScript option. So what we'll do, we'll uncheck the optimized CSS code. So now we have only JavaScript optimization from this plugin. Once done, we'll click on save changes and empty cache. We'll reload our website and see if our website is still breaking or not. If it is breaking, it means it was because of the CSS optimization, not from JavaScript optimization. If our website is still breaking that means the issue is because of javascript optimization not because of cs optimization so once you make sure which option is breaking your website then we're gonna narrow down on that option which broke your website so for example optimize cs code didn't broke my website i'm gonna keep it check and then i'm gonna narrow down on javascript code so what i will do now so okay in the most of the cases you should keep jquery.min.js here 
But what we'll do now, we'll just for now, we'll uncheck this option and save changes in empty cache. And then we'll go to source code of your website. You can go there by right click and click on view space source. Okay, so when you have source code of your website, what you need to do here, just use control F and search here dot JS. And one by one, we can see all the JS file which are used on our website. And guys, make sure when you use this option, you need to uncheck this option from your optimized JavaScript code because if you keep this option checked, you will not see the individual JS files on your website source code. So what you need to do is you need to take one by one the name of these files. Go back to auto optimize. You can check this option again and then add comma and add this file here and keep the source code open so that every time you don't need to check and uncheck the auto optimize options. And once you edit this file, go on save changes and empty cache. Now come back to your website refresh the page if it's still breaking the website so this means this javascript file is not responsible for breaking the website what you can do now you can go to the next javascript file and guys you just need to use some logic also for example for example there's a js file for contact form 7 and i can go to my website i see okay there's no problem with contact form 7 so what i can understand okay this website is not breaking because contact form 7 javascript file so what i can do i can just skip this thing i search more then i find this another file you can copy this file name and you can add jquery.blockui.min.js in auto optimize here to exclude that file repeat this process and i'm sure you're gonna find the file which is breaking your website exclude that file from auto optimize and guys if you cannot fix the issue don't hesitate to comment down below in the video but before that i request you to give this an honest try because a lot of people who ask for the help i am really happy to help you guys but please give it a try to troubleshoot these issues this will not only grow your skills but you will learn something new and you will be like better at your website management and guys like always if you find some value out of this tutorial don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and share this video with somebody if you're a student or you're a developer share this with your colleagues or your friends or family person who are interested in learning these kind of amazing tips and tricks and guys make sure you watch this related video on the screen how to optimize js and css on your website